first touch base with the management of Hindustan Copper. Shakil Ahmed, who's the CMD of Hindustan Copper, joins us on the show right now. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, thanks very much for taking out the time. Tell us more about your divestment plans. Uh, have you heard anything from the government on the timing of it? Uh, so far, we have not heard anything formally from Department of Disinvestment about uh, disinvestment of Hindustan Copper uh, equity. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, we are not looking at fresh equity, raising fresh equity for Hindustan Copper Limited. So it is essentially Department of Disinvestment's call to take a view on uh, disinvestment timeline and other related issues. Uh, as on date, a final decision has not been taken. Mm. So, as and when the decision gets taken, what's the estimated amount that you would look to raise via this divestment, even if it's not happening right now, but happening over the next six months? Uh, no, uh, you see, it will depend upon valuations and uh, a lot uh, more issues and a final call as you know is taken by a group of ministers so it's premature for me to comment on the amount to be raised as part of this investment mm. uh, the other aspect is that copper demand and let's just uh, you know talk a little bit about how business is shaping up uh, particularly on the commodity side uh, copper demand slowdown is expected uh, due to china you know which uh, is primarily responsible for 40 percent of the world consumption uh, and, you know, there are signs that the economy there is uh, slowing down. What is the outlook on copper prices and then the demand scenario? Uh, yes, a uh, short answer to your question is yes. Uh, there are concerns and there are headwinds about uh, copper prices due to slowing down of demand in China, which contributes to 40% consumption. But uh, I will hasten to add that as far as copper is concerned, there are also concerns on supply side. So our expectation is that the price impact on copper price should not be as much as on other commodities like iron ore. And uh, currently it is ranging around 8,300, 8,400 US dollars on LME. Uh, this uh, trend should uh, sustain and if there is bad news it may drop. If there is good news in China it should improve. Okay. Uh, just wondering as to what's the situation with uh, equity fundraising uh, or any kind of uh, other modes of fundraising aside of divestment, of course. Uh, one, what's the total cash that you have on the books and any fundraising expected in the next quarter itself, Mr. Hammond? Uh, actually, our cash uh, will be on the upside of about Rs. 550 crore. Uh, on our books as on date and uh, we are working on ECB um, our uh, as our projects take off and requirement of investment increases we will very seriously consider ECB in the next financial year it could be as early as first quarter of the next financial year uh, the market would uh, clearly want to know about a fundraising plan, especially about the ECB route. Can you uh, lay out uh, how much you'd be looking to raise? You see, although our internal accruals are sufficient to take us through in the next financial year, but uh, due to natural hedge in our revenue model, we find ECB funding very attractive. So we have advanced the ECB. Uh, earlier we had thought of taking it during 13-14, but we might consider it during next financial year. So it should be around 250 million to begin with. Hmm. What about the bottom line growth uh, at the end of this fiscal, Mr. Ahmed? Uh, at Malanj Khan, our stripping ratio has been poor during the current financial year. So we are uh, shelling out more by way of amortization there. So to that extent, our profitability will be impacted, but we'll be able to overcome this drop in profitability by a good margin due to improved sales.